So as y'all know, back to school is coming up. August is coming up. I feel like that's always a busy month for me because all the girls are going back to school and they need their hair done. I'm also in school. It's just, you know, coming out of summer, going into like the fall terms and stuff like that. So it's always good to get your life back on track. And I know I function way better when everything in my life is in order. So I just made my breakfast this morning. Um, I'm finna eat my kiwi. Y'all know I love, it's so juicy. Like it comes out so smooth. Y'all see this? I just finished my breakfast. I do have a client today. I also had school today. I did not go to school because I woke up and it was my time of the month. Stomach was hurting all day. I'm like, no. And I would, honestly, nobody has been at school. I don't know if it's like the summer in the air, but when I'm there, I'm literally the only girl. And it's like 50 boys and I don't know something about that just irritates me like they don't be trying to win me but I just I don't I'm I've never been like the girl that just only hang around boys you know outside of family but I just never been that type and it makes me uncomfortable <laughs> not uncomfortable but just like where's my girls but anyways um I just got to eat my breakfast I'm gonna go to the gym today we're doing upper body so I'm gonna show y'all my upper body routine then I have to do my client, Kyra. She's one of my favorite clients because we cheer together and I do her hair all the time. Her hair is so soft, like it'd be so easy to do. Then um, I might clean out my salon suite because it looks a mess in there. Like I need to deep clean it before I have all these clients coming in for back to school and stuff like that. And we can't do that if like, I just rather have a completely clean space than to be having my clients coming in and it, you know, look a hot mess in there. So. I'm finna go ahead and go to do to my workout. I feel like I haven't took y'all with me on a workout in so long. I just got kind of overwhelmed bringing my camera to the gym. But I wanted to bring y'all with me today. So I'm going to take me a little stroll to the gym. Yeah, we're going to do upper body today. Then we're going to get ready to go to work with me. So, And y'all, before I go to the gym, instead of bringing water with me, I just down a full bottle of water before I go to the gym. That keeps me hydrated and let's focus on... Oh, in between the set, I need to break, take water. Like, no, I just like... I don't know, I just like being free in the gym without having like having to keep picking up my water and stuff like that. And I don't know, I just feel like y'all should try it. And I don't take pre-workout. I just feel like it's overhyped. Like, I don't know, I just never been a pre-workout girly because I don't really like sugary stuff no way. And I don't know, I be hyping the gym anyway. When I feel like my pre-workout is my music. Like, I don't know, I just feel like your pre-workout should be your music. Like, that should be hype enough. I don't think the whole sugar rush pre-workout, that just never been it for me so i'm gonna go ahead and down my water and then i'm gonna see you at the gym so first things first we're gonna start off with some stretching <laughs> Back of the neck. I went and put Mary 
10 on the 10, I wanna see the reflection I'm the best dressed at the Mac The web in her dress, I know how to dress Turn the drip to a flex Just look at the chick, I pop out my chest Train it look like my pants I let the bitch you who for sex I know that you don't want a catch Got one on one ice on the jet One on one bitch at 18 One on one never again Don't get the cake and the butter, I count it like hustle the money all in I'm in the town in the drop top coupe and the motor in the trunk you can hear Know all about how they want me to lose but I'm W, do for a win I know I'm no one missing it up, I know I'm no one missing it in I know I'm no one messing with kick, I don't want a one on one bitch Come to the spot I got one on one pieces and all of them cost me a grip Come to the US so pretty how ready they go on the pole with their lips Good service I'm ready to tip, you know I'm hip, I don't got a trip You know I ain't no liberty shrimp, we switching positions, we switching locations I'm fucking this bitch in the gym she said she don't wanna say gunner no more She bout to start calling me him mm -hmm. to start calling me him, I'm him I don't need you making it hot The stakes is high, the prices is high I'm about to fly to Dubai Hustle boo, HB on the tie I with the one on one ride And cut from the bill at a slide I come and I come to get mine Hop out on the bill like surprise One on one, never again. One on one, get the cake and the butter. I count it like hustle, the money all in. I'm in the town in the drop top coupe and the motor in the trunk, you can hear. Shh, all about how they want me to lose, but I'm W, do for a win. Fucking on this bitch in the OG, I'm having the snow bunny pull up a lens. Off of my dummy, you'll see how I'm coming, you'll tip me up right on the edge. And this is young and I've been here to shoot about some money all under my bed. 2018 came with me and I made it career, niggas thought it'd be dead. I get cold, my body cold, I took a lot of shit. I hit the one time, told her pull up again, making it look pussy stretch. stretch. Give me some head in the back of the bend, dip in the back of the neck. Whoa, whoa. I wanna put my routine on the tent, I wanna see the reflection. And like that, I'm done with my workout. Y'all, so I'm back at home. It's currently 1.50, my client is at 3, but I like to get there like 30 minutes before my client. Like, I hate meeting my client there. I just feel like that's distasteful. <laughs> My hair is poofed up. It's just looking a hot mess. Like, I don't have nothing for my natural hair. Like, when I, the last time I put on a wig is when I had a silk press. And I literally just put my, that's what I'm finna do. I'm finna just put my hair, no. I don't know what I'm finna do with my hair. But, um, yeah, the last time I had my hair out, I had it in a silk press. If y'all didn't see on my bedroom makeover part two, I, had, I was literally just wearing my hair in a, just wearing my hair in a freaking flat iron ponytail, like my silk press. And I just had it in a ponytail. But after that, I had wig promo to do, so I literally just put my hair in two braids because my hair is not that thick. It's like kind of fine when it's straightened. So I just put it in two braids and put my wig back on. But under the wig, my silk purse was sweating out, so my hair was itching, and I was just like, no. So I snatched my wig off last night, not knowing I didn't have no extra wig to put. <laughs> I didn't have no extra wig to put on, like, and I did not feel like doing my natural hair, like at all so i might that's what the plan might be today instead of cleaning up my shop i might go ahead and just wash my hair do the braid down and stuff like that but until then i'm gonna go ahead and take my creatine and y'all gonna enjoy this headband and ponytail y'all just hate looking a hot mess like no when i take my creatine this is the creatine your creatine is a monohydrate make sure your creatine is a monohydrate but I just literally take a scoop and I just take it as a shot. Like, it's not really nasty, but it has that grainy feel like, I don't know how to explain it. I just take a shot of water and not too much because the more, the more water you pour in there, the bigger the goat gonna have to be. My scoop, put it in here. It literally looks like milk, but it tastes like water with like dirt. It tastes like water and dirt. Like, I don't know. It just tastes like dusty water. Y'all, I'm so irked with my hair right now. I'm, I want to sing that song to my hair right now. You not my friend. You is my enemy. Because that's what it's giving. Like, my hair not even cooperating with me. Like, at all. I'm just going to put a little bit of the hairs out. Maybe that, hopefully. Make it look a little more messy. But, like, the hairs be too long that I'll be leaving out. I don't know. I don't know. Yuck. That was quite disgusting, but I take that after my workout because you want to take it while your like muscles are like activated. I don't know, y'all. I do be doing my research, y'all. I don't just be doing stuff. I be doing my research. I don't be remembering the research, but in the moment, I be reading the research, and the research be researching. So then I got my protein shake. I'm gonna drink this when I get to the shop. If I get hungry or anything, I'm just gonna see y'all at my shop because I'm so irritated with my hair. Right now. 
<laughs> I am so irritated. I'm just gonna put it in the bun. Or I could just wear it down, like, how I look down, y'all, from the ponytail. And then my roots are literally, like, nappy. <laughs> the roots are nappy, the ends are straight. It's, it's no, it's just, actually, I'm just gonna wear it out, like. No. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna see y'all once we get to my shop because I can't believe I'm on here looking like this. I'm so disgusted. But anyway, I'll see y'all later. Bring a friend, bitch, we spoke them at the same time. So I'm a different nigga, so we not the same kind. So we can't have that look, bitch, you ain't mine. These niggas talking out of their neck, don't put no coughing out of your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for it. Hey, hey, let's get it, bro. EOT, the money power is the last one. It's better. Say this a lot of goofies with a check. I mean, I hope the sentiment's symbolic. Hey, and I just want to first start by saying thanks for 38,000 doing but i know i'm gonna go with my man i wanted to tour these apartments with him but the more i look at myself the more i look like i'm hungry like i don't know i'm just hungry right now i don't even want to tour the apartments no more but i'm gonna get with him and see what we doing so in today's video we will be doing a monthly reset because today is july 27 it's 159 because i just got off of work i did work on saturday because your girl is going out of the country soon so i've been working on weekends when i'm usually off and i also have back to school coming up for all of my clients so i've been really busy so sorry if this video is put it out put it out jada be so for real what is put it out me sorry if this video is posted late it's because August is always busy for me. I always take a trip in August. Like, and it don't even be planned. I just always end up taking a trip in August. The August before the August, I went to Miami. And then last year, I went to Puerto Rico. And then this year, I'm going out the country. So, it's crazy how I went out to another state. Then I went to another, like, anyways. So, yeah, I will be going out the country next month. So, this whole August is just, y'all, why is my brother and my cousin calling me? Yeah, I was gonna say you you taking five hours to take me back. It's okay if you looking like that. It's okay if you looking like that. Ah. I'm vlogging. Uh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Vlog up, vlog up. Hey vlog, hey vlog. I forgot I was recording. All right, bye, Charlie. Keep doing your thing. You seeing where I was at? I'm gonna be on the way. All right, see you in a minute. Only I'm the big sister, and I have two brothers. And my other brother, his birthday is today, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So, I'm not linking with him today, but I don't even know. Oversharing. Like, stop oversharing, Jada. But anyways, today is my brother's birthday. Why am I, why do I keep bringing him up? I'm not even linking with him today. Anyways, what are we going to do to monthly reset? Because we need to reset clearly. But anyways, this video will be a monthly reset because August 1st is on the way. And like I've told y'all, it's back to school. Back to the money. Back to the basics. Back to another country. <laughs> Drop down in the comments where y'all think I'm going. Um, but, um, Yeah, I'm going to go to my man house. I don't know what we're going to do today. I think it's my date weekend. So what we do is like one weekend he get a date one weekend i get a date like we be planning dates like you know what i'm saying like one weekend he plan one and it don't be nothing extraordinary it just be like you know little stuff just to keep the love alive and i honestly enjoy that because that's why we still together like i don't think i think people think once you're in a relationship for so long that's why it gets boring and tiring because y'all doing the same stuff y'all been doing like that's how you keep a healthy relationship and i think that's with everything in life like you have to switch the flow up you can't keep doing the same thing same thing instead expecting different results with my man we're trying new stuff like we're not gonna keep no but anyways i'm gonna go see him and i'm gonna see y'all in the car because i'm feeling good feeling thick i've been in the gym your girl been working um about that 75 hard I failed, but let me explain. Let me explain. The 75 hard for me was kind of unrealistic because, like, the days that I started, like, I did the first 10 days perfect. 
reading my book, which I still read my book, but the two 45 minute exercises a day was kind of throwing me off because that would take up literally three hours of my day. And that's not including school, work, YouTube, that, like it's not including all the stuff that I already had on my plate, you know what I'm saying? So instead of editing, I would go exercise, you know what I'm saying? Like to the whole, yeah. But anyways, I'm not making excuses for myself. I'm starting over. So that's going to be the monthly reset. August 1st, I'm starting over on my 75 hard. I believe I can do it. And I'm still working out every day. I've been working out every day for the past, this whole month actually. And I feel 10 times better. Because y'all know your girl, I love to work out. Like, i just always been that type of person. But yeah, I'm, I'm just yapping. I'm finna go and I'm gonna see y'all at my man house. So period, I mean, so. This is one of my favorite songs. Play my friend. Friend, you is my enemy, and I didn't deserve that. Oh no, I see my enemy. I see my enemy when it hurt me. I'm gonna tell her that she likes to get to school. Okay, what's up? Could it be, can I keep this and then get mac and cheese instead of the cornbread pudding? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And this I walk. Yeah, yes, I did. So, thank you. The strawberry walk. They're supposed to give me mac and cheese. next day after me and my boyfriend went out i literally just went to his house and slept i don't know what it is but my boyfriend bed is just so comfortable like if we eat i'm knocking out at his house like i slept from whenever we got done was probably like four to nine and then i slept from 10 until the next day but i honestly feel like i needed that rest because it's like when i work out and stuff my body be needing that reset so that's why i'm early up <clears throat> That's why I'm up early this morning. It's currently 7 o'clock a.m. And as y'all see, I'm in my suite because today we'll be doing a deep clean of my suite. So with me having so many clients and also doing so many different styles, I feel like my suite be all over the place. Like when I do braids, it's braiding hair everywhere. When I do wigs, it's wigs stuck everywhere. And then when I switch, like I have a braid client this day, but a wig client this day, it just all be in too much. So today we're just going to deep clean everything. And I have one of the largest suites I've ever seen. Like I don't know if I'm tripping or if I'm exaggerating, but this is like my room. I don't even think it's two. It's like two of my bedrooms can fit in here. Like, honestly. Yeah, my suite is humongous, so we finna go section by section. So, this is the before. Like, this whole section, this drawer, I bought a mess. Like, it's falling apart. I don't know. And then over here, we gotta clean this up. Those are actually, like, um, towels in my, you know, stuff that I like. Anyways. But anyways, yeah. And then we have to clean up this. I have some stuff in here that I have to clean out and whatnot like it's just all over the place and then i don't think it's nothing behind the mirror but i'm gonna change around everything here goes me because i was gonna go y'all see the muscles like i know y'all see that do y'all see the calves like don't play with her <laughs> yeah i swear i'm a muscle mommy because i am but anyways um, I have to clean in here. This is bleach for when I be bleaching the wig. So we got to clean all of this. And then we have to clean inside of here. Whew. Yeah, that's a lot. So this might just be a lot of music or a voiceover or anything. But yeah, let's clean up. It's currently 7 o'clock. I do have to go. My boyfriend's mom is having a wine making class or a wine tasting. I don't know if it's wine making or wine tasting. So after this, I'm going to go home and then I'm going to go... Um, do the wine making class with her and then 
yeah, we're gonna just have a good day today. So I'm gonna let y'all spend the whole day with me. And yeah. Cause we like her, and we like her too. And we like her, and we like her too. And we like her, and we like her too. And we like her, and she like us too. Oh, my baby But this floor has stains on it and honestly this floor stains so easily it's hard to get the stains up so I would literally go eat stain by stain and take one of these like the back of a sponge and spray it and scrub it scrub it scrub it scrub it, scrub it. so that's what y'all gonna see me doing in this part and it's time room but we finna get it done say O-V ho they stab this way they not like us stop it's the mother mother freak man say O-V ho say O-V ho So this is how it looks so far. I basically just strained up everything and organized all my stuff before mopping the floors and all of that. Let me show you how the closet ended up looking. So I have my bleach, my shampoos and all of that. All of that, all of that. These are my combs and like brushes and stuff like that. But I do want to wash them and I'm going to fill this tub with disinfectant and the stuff that you use to clean your brushes and stuff. And I'm just going to let them soak in here. But I'm not going to do that right now. But that's just showing y'all that. And so now what I'm finna do is basically just straighten up my, I mean, rearrange my suite. So I had it like, everything's like, so I had chairs right there. Y'all know how I had it if you've been watching my videos. So I'm finna just rearrange everything. So how y'all see it now is how it was. But I'm just finna show y'all how I'm finna move this. So yeah, I'm finna move this little dresser thing over. <laughs> This is where my clients can take their pictures and stuff once they're done getting their hair done. And then I'm going to put a mirror in front of them so while they're getting their hair done, they can see they sit. Girl, this bitch in the OG, I'm having this snow bunny pull up a leg. I'm going to see how I come out on it. I moved my TV out because it has the mount to where you can go like that. So I moved that out. I don't know where I want to plug it at though, my TV. I got my mirror right here and then like this and so my clients are going to be sitting like right here if that makes sense like it's coming together y'all just gotta be patient but yeah this is how it looks so far and we're gonna put another mirror right here so that's gonna be the mirror that my clients see like when they're getting their hair done the sex i know that y'all want to catch got one-on-one -on -one ice on the chick one-on-one one-on-one one bitch they team one-on-one one never again one -on -one. Get the kick in the butter, I count it like hustle the money all in. All in. I'm in a town in the drop, I'm cooping the motor in the trunk, you can hear it. And I'm about how they want me to lose, but I'm W, do for a win. One to one missing it up, one to one missing it in. One to one missing the kick. Life of a business owner, I'm down here scrubbing the flows, okay? 
So it's a pretty hoe ready to go on the pole with her lips. Good service, I'm ready to tip. You know I'm hip, I don't got a trip. You know I ain't no liberty shrimp. We switching positions, we switching locations. I'm fucking this bitch in the gym. She said she don't wanna say gunner no more. She about to start calling me him. I'm him. I need you making it hot. The stakes is high, the prices is high. I'm about to fly to Dubai. I'm gone. Okay, we're all done. This is how it looks. Well, I just mopped, so I can't really show y'all, but I'm gonna get all of this stuff up once it dry. I might show y'all once it's clean because I have a client tomorrow, but it feels so refreshed in here. It is not that much of a change, but it looks good. So I'm gonna go home and get ready and do what I gotta do, and then I'm gonna see y'all later. Hey y'all, so your girl has made it home. I'm finna go ahead and take me a shower, find what I'm about to wear, and I'm gonna see y'all once I find an outfit. Um, for my monthly reset, I would clean my house, like really, really clean it, but it's really, really clean. And I'm proud of myself because, period. Like, I've been cleaning up as I go versus waiting till everything get dirty to clean up, so. Snaps, period. So I'm gonna take a shower, then I'm finna um, eat me a little lunch because I haven't had any break. I had a protein smoothie for breakfast but i haven't had like actual food so i'm gonna eat me a salmon caesar salad because i did prep some i prepped like four pieces of salmon because the last piece of salmon i had was so big like it was enough for four pieces and once i unthaw it like i just had to make it so i'm gonna make me a salmon caesar salad after i get out the shower and then we're gonna head to my boyfriend's mom's house so yeah okay y'all so i have my outfit i have my boyfriend's hat I have on this black tank top. This is not the same top I had on. It's I have like a whole set of them. Then I got some jeans and then I got on my Travis Scott Dunks with my Louis V purse. Y'all know my main essentials and I just be switching it up. But I'm finna go ahead and make my protein smoothie so when I spend the night at my boyfriend's house, I can already just have some breakfast and then I'm finna make my salmon Caesar salad. So this is some salmon I already had prepped. I'm finna re-air fry it just so some of it is still like hot. It's good though. I think you are the one. Okay, first I go in with first I go in with my blueberries. This is what's gonna give it that blue color and like that fruity flavor. Ooh. Blueberries. And then I also freeze blueberries. I don't know if I'm supposed to do this, but I do. Lots of blueberries. Then I'll put in my ice. Four or five cubes, either or. Then I'll go on with my chia seeds. Then I don't use milk because milk makes me gassy, so I just use water. And then I'll go on with some Greek yogurt. Then I go in with my honey. Then I go in with my protein powder. I use the the whey vanilla ice cream one. It tastes the best to me. Then I take me some almond butter. Blend that. The chia seeds are so Salad time, so y'all know you have your Caesar salad bag. Let me make sure it's not going old because these go old very fast. Okay, we had it for August 1st. Okay, after I put my lettuce, I put the Caesar salad ranch. I will mix that. Okay, you're going to put your Parmesan cheese in there. I'm just going to put the whole thing. I might as well use all this lettuce. I'm not even going Then I take my crushed croutons. For me, it'd be like, after how many toppings do the salad not be healthy no more? Because <laughs> a black person's salad is just ghetto. Like, I don't know. But then I'm going to take my salmon. 
and just put those bits in there. The skin. Put some of this seasoning on there. Stir that up if you can. This bowl is little. I should have chose a bigger bowl. Then after that, you're going to take your croutons and put them in here. And there you have it, folks. Give me a cup. Take my smoothie. less than 10 minutes we have a caesar salad and we have our breakfast for tomorrow and yeah i'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna head out for the day at this point however many times y'all have seen me pray for my food y'all should know my food prayer by now so say it with me father god in the name of jesus i pray that you bless this food and let it be nourishment to my body and bless the cooks who prepared this food and let us have and continue to have a great day and a great night amen amen to that i love me a good salmon caesar salad Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is so good, y'all. So good. in a minute so i'm gonna go but i'm so glad i ate because the only thing i ate this morning was a protein shake and i'm just like my body's more energy so i just ate my salad it was very good and y'all let me tell y'all something i'm learning more and more about myself i think i've developed a new allergy i think i'm allergic to eggs like every time i eat eggs i do whatever comes out your mouth like i don't want to say it but i do number three if that makes it now nah, number three would be i do number four i i do whatever comes out your mouth you know what i'm saying so Every time I eat eggs, it just makes me so nauseous. And I'm just like, and it used to be like that for the longest. Like me, I used to be allergic to citrus fruits as well. But the more I ate them, the more I became unallergic to it. I don't know how that worked. But I usually I usually get like big hives all over my face when I used to eat like pineapples, oranges, any citrus fruit. I used to get rushed to the hospital. But now like I just kept eating it and kept eating it. And I just developed an immunity to it. So I used to throw up a lot, well I used to be nauseous a lot when I ate eggs and always have to puke after I ate them, but I just kept eating them in hopes that it would get better. And it did get better, but I still would like kind of have to force myself to eat eggs. And I be wanting to eat eggs because like they have a lot of protein in them and stuff like that, but I'm done with eggs. Like I, I, it's came up way too many times for me and I'm just over it. I'm so over it. Like I just can't even enjoy my breakfast. And after that, like. It'll just be art, but I don't even know why I'm telling y'all this, but I'm finna go and I'm gonna see y'all in the car. It's currently 3.05. I was supposed to be there at 3, so oops. <laughs>
Good morning, guys. Um, yesterday, wine class was so cool. Um, I never did anything like that, honestly, but we do have to wait 14 days before we can drink it. 14 days for the fermentation process to finish, like, I don't know. Like, she put yeast in it, and then we have to wait, which I don't even drink wine, so I just want to see how it tastes like. But I'm on the way to yoga class right now. I love going to yoga because, I don't know, I just like that stretch it gives me, and it's so relaxing, so... I'm finna go to yoga and then I'm also gonna do a leg workout today. So yeah, I might bring y'all in with me to yoga. We gonna see how my camera acting cause I don't have no other batteries. So yeah, we gonna see how that works. And I'm gonna see y'all there, bye. Okay, to wrap up my monthly reset, your girl just got back from school. It's currently 1.30. It is a Monday and I don't have a client today. I thought I did, but I think my client either canceled or rescheduled. It's one of them, but at first the appointment was there and now it's gone. So I kind of enjoyed that. Like, that's one thing about, I, I feel like that's one thing I push to everybody is to always have multiple streams of income. So when stuff like that does happen, it doesn't really affect your pockets. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I have a client that reschedules or cancels on me, it doesn't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh my gosh, she canceled. Now I got to hurry up and get this client. Like, no, you always should have some type of extra income because you just never know what's going to happen. But anyways, um, I'm free today. It's currently 1.30, so I'm going to just get my life together. And what that consists of is planning the month of August because August starts on Thursday. It's currently Monday, so I already want to do my calendar, write down my goals for the month write down the plans that I have for the month and like certain stuff that I did this month that I didn't like that I want to change coming into the new month. And I'm also finna just redo my whole entire apartment. Not redo, but clean up my whole entire apartment. That includes doing my laundry, folding clothes, uh, just, you know, straightening up everything, which if y'all didn't know, y'all watch my videos all the time. Your girl cleans all the time. Like I'm always cleaning my home, it feels like. But that's what keeps your home clean all the time is when you clean all the time, so yeah i'm gonna start by doing some laundry i already have some clothes that's in the washer and the dryer um i'm gonna just rewash them because i think when i spent the night at my boyfriend's house last night i washed them then but y'all know y'all can't leave clothes sitting so i have to rewash them kind of well it is clean i don't know if y'all can see clean this day um i'm gonna go put another load in then we're gonna plan our month of august write down our goals what we want to see in august what we want new in this month um and yeah i'm probably gonna run to the store too because your girl ran out of waters so i've been drinking like eight bottles of water a day and it's not even because i'm trying to hit a goal it's just because i've been thirsty <laughs> I've been so thirsty and I've always just been a water drinker. I never really cared for like, I wish I probably told y'all this in my move in vlog when I first went grocery shopping. I've always just been a water drinker. I don't really care for juices. Like these juices y'all, literally. Juices have literally been in my refrigerator forever. Like, I don't know, I just never been, I don't know. But anyways, let's go put another load in the washer. It's currently raining right now. And that's my favorite type of weather. Like, I'm finna chill so bad today. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, let's first start by wiping off July. Looking at July, I feel like I did all that I was supposed to do. And yeah. 
Okay, so first I start by labeling the day, of course. I don't know which day is August 1st. I think it's Thursday. So we're going to just go ahead and label those days. 28, 29. I think it's 30 days in August. I'm not sure. Look, y'all, I literally just wrote down my goals. And then I went to get some water from the store and I took a shower. And I forgot to vlog. I don't know what's going on. I think it's when I start writing down my goals and stuff like that. It just puts me in a different mindset and I just forget about the world. But I will tell y'all what I wrote down. It's basically what I do is I'll write down my things that I have to get done. Like, you know, say if I need an oil change or stuff like that. Like, for me, I need, um, yeah, I got a couple stuff I got to get done. And then I have, okay, so I have my things to get done. Then I have my physical goals. Like, how do I want my body to look? Or what can I do physically to improve? You know what I'm saying? Like, goals that are like hands-on versus mentally then i have my mentally goals like for example i want to sleep by 10 p.m every day like i feel like that's kind of like a mental thing for me and i also want to do like be less distracted and more focused and stuff like that so i feel like those are like my mental mental goals and like my physical goals would be like you know probably like lose two pounds like that type of stuff if you know what i mean and my physical goals would be like work keep work continue to work out and other stuff that I prefer not to say on camera, but y'all get what I'm saying. Then I have my content goals, my money goals, what I did good in July, like the month prior to. I do like to do that because, I, and honestly, I just started doing that like the month before because I always write down what I need to improve on without acknowledging what I actually did good within that month. And I feel like we beat ourselves up so much that we always saying, you need to do this, you need to do this, without even realizing you're doing a b and c like the stuff that you were hard on yourself on you didn't even give yourself praise for getting that in check you know what i'm saying like you told yourself to be more disciplined more focused you did that and now you're making this new goal to do this but you're not even acknowledging the fact that you doubled down on yourself and did what you your you what you wanted yourself to do so i wrote down so so far i wrote down things i need to get done my physical goals my mental goals my content goals my money goals Things I need to prove, improve on and things that I did good on improving on from the month from the month prior to. So what's um, what I did do good on in July that I wanted to do that I had set goals for myself in June was going to the gym four to five times a week. And I did that and I give myself praise for that because going to the gym and just being hard on yourself consistently, not for like three days and then you quit, but consistently going, that is an accomplishment. Like... And you should give yourself praise for that. Then I also um, wrote down that I had a cleaner diet. I also started back reading. Less social media. I did check that one off because although I did less social media, I want to do less sir. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would have my days where I would still get on social media when I wasn't supposed to. So, I didn't check that off. And then getting out more. If y'all didn't know, like, I'm such a homebody, like... Only time I get out is to go with my boyfriend or if I'm going out the country. Like, outside of that, I really just stay in the house. And if I'm not working, I'm just in the house. And it's just, sometimes I get so caught up into that, I forget to enjoy life. So, I'm trying to enjoy life more. So, that's what I put on goals for myself. I want to get out more in August. Like, I don't want to be constricted to my... You know, that was so disgusting. <laughs> That was so disgusting, y'all. I've been so gassy today. I don't know if it's what I ate. What did I eat today? I had a protein shake. Then I had Chipotle. Then I had some salmon. I haven't had no greens or no fruits. That's probably the problem why I'm so gassy. Because my body ain't used to that. Y'all, I did a whole 360 with my diet. And I'm very proud of myself. Like, every day I eat fruits and vegetables all day. Like, I love that for me. But, um, yeah. So the only thing that I didn't get to check off what I wanted to improve on that I didn't was less social media and getting out more, which I feel like that comes with time. So we're getting there. But the things, like the main things like working out and all of that, I did that and I hate that. And then I have stuff that I want to improve on, like less social media, like I said, less money spending. I want to vlog more often, which I feel like I vlog a lot, but I could vlog more. And I also want to start looking more put together because I, I do be hard on myself like that because I've just never been a girly girl, so, like, I don't know. I just really don't care for having my hair, like, looking A1 every single time or having my nails. Like, I care, but I need to care more, and that is a struggle, and it's hard to admit that on camera because y'all gonna look at me like, you just a bum, but really, I'm not. I just don't be caring for stuff like that. Like, I don't know how to explain it, y'all. If y'all didn't know, I used to be a tomboy, so I think that's still, like, in my system, 
a little bit and then i have my content ideas for august i have a long list of content ideas y'all so i don't know which ones i want to do i'm aiming to shoot or to post i don't know i'm aiming to post a lot in august so just be on the lookout for that but that's the end for this video um i'm gonna go cook tonight watch the finished love island because i haven't finished yet y'all everybody made this a finale spoiled the winners all of that and i ain't even finished yet but i'm still finna finish and I'm gonna make me some tacos tonight. Mm, I feel like y'all see me make tacos enough. So I ain't even gonna show that. But I hope that y'all enjoyed this monthly reset. Because I know I did. Like, we clean my suite out. We deep clean my suite. We organize what we're doing for the week. Or, I mean, for the month. We, we got a lot of things done, okay? And, yeah. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And get your girl to 40,000 subscribers. Like, I cannot believe... It hasn't even been a year since I started YouTube, and I'm already finna hit 40K. Like, that is actually crazy. Like, actually crazy. Um, But yeah, anyways, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all on the next video, which should be something. Just be on the lookout for the next video. I love y'all so much. Bye.